Hey there, Aluxers. This is a special series we're doing all week here at Alux, where every day we're showcasing the life of one of the most well-known football legends. Today we're looking at 15 Things You Didn't Know About Pele. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers, today we're taking a closer look at football ace Pele. Pele, whose full name is Edson Arantes do Nascimento, was born in Tres Corazones, Minas Gerais, Brazil on October 23, 1940, and is one of the many most valuable star players in the football arena. Pele, who's known by his alias, is regarded as the greatest football player of any time and era. He was once voted as the World Player of the Century and was nominated as Athlete of the Century as well. He's also the Guinness World Record holder for scoring 1,281 goals in the 1,363 games he's played. Outside of his popularity in the football world, Pele has expanded his role as a UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador and has tried to reduce the probability of corruption in the footballer's world, and Pele's law is now part of legislation in Brazil. Not only that, Pele was also appointed as a UN Ambassador to help with environmental and ecological aspects for our world. Now that we've revealed some of his background, let's launch into the good stuff, shall we? Here are 15 things you didn't know about Pele. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Number 1. Pele won the Laureus Lifetime Achievement Award in 2000. Pele was the first recipient to have won the LLAA, or Laureus Lifetime Achievement Award, in 2000. Laureus Sport for Good Foundation is a global organization involving more than 150 charity projects worldwide and positively impacting at least 500,000 youngsters. The Laureus Lifetime Achievement Award is not necessarily presented every year, as this award is so prestigious that footballers must really make a significant amount of contribution in the sporting world. Number 2. At the age of 14, Pele began to practice indoor footballing skills and play with the adults. At 14 years old, Pele began to practice indoor footballing skills and play with the adults, despite many difficult challenges under the consideration of him being too young to be playing the indoor football. His confidence grew as he persisted on and became the top goal scorer, with around 14 or 15 goals achieved. That was when Pele realized he was not to be feared or frightened of the unknown, or even what lies ahead in the future. It was also during this time when he was eyed up by the Brazil national football team and embarked on a professional football career. Number 3. At the age of 18, Pele was awarded the FIFA World Cup Best Young Player in 1958. Pele's training and his passion for football continued to burn as his footballing skills grew to be much more professional. He was awarded the FIFA World Cup Best Young Player Award in 1958 at the age of 18. In that same year, he also won the FIFA World Cup Silver Ball. Number 4. Pele scored the opening goal in the finals of the 1970 World Cup. In 1970, Pele slashed the first goal with a header in the 1970 World Cup Finals when Brazil was up against Italy. Despite the Italian defender jumping to defend the incoming ball, Pele outshone him and got the first goal for his team. The Brazil team's morale was boosted and the victorious feeling continued as Brazil won the final match in the 1970 World Cup with a score of 4-1. Pele also received the golden ball as the most valuable player for this tournament. Number 5. Pele has a current net worth of around $100 million. Pele's current net worth is about $100 million. He's upheld the Guinness World Record of scoring 1,281 goals in all of his 1,363 football matches. 
He was one of the highest paid retired soccer players with a $6 million salary during his contract before retirement. Ever since his retirement in 1977, his earnings have come from various endorsements and sponsorship deals with listed companies, which provides Pele an additional $14 million annually. Number 6. In 1982, Pele divorced his first wife, Rosemary Dos Reis Cholpi. Pele began his first marriage with Rosemary Dos Reis Cholpi, February 21, 1966. During their marriage, they had two beautiful daughters and a son. Unfortunately, they got divorced in 1982, when their son was only 12 years old. Number 7. Pele's son was jailed for 12 years and 10 months. In May 2014, news released that Pele's son, Edino, born from his first marriage, was arrested. He was sentenced to 33 years in prison as he was caught money laundering and drug trafficking. However, Pele, together with his team of lawyers, raised an appeal for the court to reduce the sentence from 33 years to 12 years, 10 months. Number 8. Pele has fathered two or more children from extramarital affairs. When Pele was 24, his housemaid's daughter, Sandra Machado, revealed that her biological father was Pele and insisted to perform DNA tests, which results were not officially acknowledged by Pele. Despite the court's recognition on the results of the DNA test, Pele did not acknowledge Sandra Machado or Sandra's family, even after Sandra passed away in 2006. Not only was he said to be Sandra's father, Pele also had another extramarital affair with a journalist called Lenita Kurtz when he was 28. However, he did acknowledge he was the father to the one and only daughter born to Lenita Kurtz. Number 9. Pele had undergone a kidney removal in 1977 and another hip operation in 2012. Pele's health condition has reportedly deteriorated since 1977 after his first broadcasted open surgery to remove his right kidney. Years after his retirement in late 2012, he went again through a hip surgery, which was successful. His last appearance on the broadcast screen was during the 2018 World Cup in Moscow as he appeared to be sitting in a wheelchair. Number 10. Pele bought a wonderfully grand house worth around $4 million. Pele bought a wonderfully grand house worth about $4 million back in January 2018. His newly bought real estate includes a swimming pool, jacuzzi, sauna, home office, a room mainly for all kinds of sports, and a wide parking lot for his cars. And Alexers, if you're curious about more iconic houses, check out our video, The Top 10 World's Most Expensive Houses Ever Built, by clicking in the top right corner. Number 11. Pele retired twice from his football career. After the 1974 footballing season with Brazil national team and his 19th year with Santos, Pele decided for himself to retire from the Brazilian national team and stayed on with Santos for any official competitive football matches. However, two years later, Pele agreed to a professional contract, signing with the New York Cosmos of the North American Soccer League in preparation for the 1975 season. Then again in 1977, he officially retired once more and came out of his football career after his contract concluded with the Cosmos in the league championship. Number 12. Pele collapsed and was hospitalized due to exhaustion a month after his last appearance at the 2018 World Cup in Moscow. After Pele's last appearance at the World Cup 2018 that was held in Moscow, Russia, there were news reports broadcasting that Pele was hospitalized due to exhaustion. He was under his doctor's careful and dedicated supervision throughout his hospitalization, but with several days of rest and observation, he was released from hospital. Number 13. Pele became the only player to have played three FIFA World Cups in his entire football career. Pele became a legend as he was the one and only footballer to have played three FIFA World Cups in a soccer player's career. He played in 1958, 1962, and 1970. 
up until this day, he's still a role model that many athletes look up to as their source of inspiration and motivation. Number 14. Pele had a lifetime of interesting love relationships. Besides his passion and love for football, Pele also got himself involved in three marriages and lots of scandals with some of the women surrounding him. He married his first spouse, Rosemary Dos Reis Cholby, and had three children with her, and then divorced in 1982. Meanwhile, he started a relationship with an influential TV presenter, who was only 17 at the time, which lasted from 1981 to 1986. His second marriage was with Assyria Lemos Seixas, who was a psychologist and singer. During his second marriage, a pair of twins was born to him on September 28, 1996. They were divorced in 2008. Then he married for the third time to a 41-year-old working executive, Marcia Akoy, when he was 73. They began dating back in 2010, and he married her in July of 2016. Number 15. Pele's name became a worldwide inspiration and is often used by football players, coaches, and even journalists in the world of football. Pele's name has become a worldwide inspiration and has been constantly brought up by many football players, coaches, and even journalists in the sports world. Pele is now a football legend for all players to look up to, as he's the greatest player of all time. Pele was even described as a god by many other football players. Looking at these facts of Pele, doesn't it feel like every career journey should have such a good role model for young star achievers to look up to and motivate themselves through their own journey? He's just so generous and helpful toward the society and environment. Well, Alexers, now that we've covered 15 things you didn't know about Pele, we're curious. What do you think Pele would have done if he never became a football player? Let us know in the comments. And of course, for sticking with us all the way to the end, here's your bonus. Number 16. Pele has a unique playing method that is commonly known as dribble de vaca. Pele often showcased his unique playing stance, the dribble de vaca, in most of his football matches, which he trained awfully hard for with tremendous speed, creativity, and skillful technique. The method he used has rocked the football world ever since, and it helped him to achieve many victories for his teams in many matches, both friendly and competitive. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.